Now we've done it, America. Now we've done it. Now we've got the Dutch mad at us. Maar een paar weken terug ging Rick Santorum, de meest conservatieve kandidaat, een stapje verder. In the Netherlands, the bracelet is, do not euthanize. If nothing else, we now know that it turns out the word candidate in Dutch is kandidaat. I did not know. My late Dutch grandmother would smack me upside the head for that pronunciation, I'm sure. But I have been watching Dutch news videos and reading Google translations of Dutch language headlines all day because the Dutch are really mad at us. And they are frankly not a people given to getting mad over nothing. But they are mad at us right now because of Rick Santorum. Um, Rick Santorum has been saying a thing on the campaign trail about the Dutch. Right Wing Watch posted video of him saying it. It got fact checked by the Washington Post's fact checker. It got picked up in the Dutch press. And now this thing that Rick Santorum is saying about Dutch people has become an issue in their national politics. This was the headline on BuzzFeed yesterday. Santorum Royals Dutch Politics, which almost sounds dirty. Uh, and, and you can tell, even from just looking at the Dutch version of, uh, right, that you can, you can tell that they're mad, even if you don't speak Dutch. But when you get it translated by your staff member who's Dutch, uh, then it all comes into focus. Rick Santorum thinks he knows the Netherlands, murder of the elderly on a grand scale. Here's another one uh, in the Dutch, right? Um, and in the English translation, uh, Dutch euthanasia, according to Santorum. Here's what Rick Santorum said that has the Dutch people so mad. Now, I want you to pay special attention to the gasps of shock and horror coming from the crowd as Rick Santorum talks. In the Netherlands, people wear a different bracelet if you're all over. And the bracelet is, do not euthanize people. Because they have voluntary euthanasia in the Netherlands. But half the people who are euthanized every year, and it's 10% of all deaths in the Netherlands, half of those people are euthanized involuntarily at hospitals because they are older and sick. And so elderly people in the Netherlands don't go to the hospital. They go to another country because they're afraid, because of budget purposes, that they will not come out of that hospital if they go into a sickness. Mr. Santorum goes on to say that that's where we are heading now, too, as a nation, now that we've had national health reform. Now, none of the things Mr. Santorum said there are true. None of them. We will verify that with an actual Dutch person in just a moment. Uh, but the fact that he has said it as a presidential candidate now has a leading Dutch opposition party politician demanding that the Dutch ambassador to the United States wade in here and tell Rick Santorum where to go, please. And if the ambassador won't do it, then the government's foreign minister, the equivalent of their secretary of state, should do it. On his Facebook page, this Labour Party politician writes, this is the translation, according to the New York Times, the Dutch ambassador has no comment on the scandalous charge from Santorum about our country. How is it possible? I have, a direct, I have directed a request to the foreign minister and have called on him to take a public stance. This can't be real. It is one thing for Americans to look at the 2012 field and say, seriously, this can't be real. But now we have the rest of the world looking at our 2012 candidates and saying, dude, this can't be real. Uh, joining us now is Eric Mountain. He's the U.S. correspondent for the Dutch RTL Evening News. Uh, Mr. Mountain, thank you very much for being here and helping us figure this out. Sure. Um, before we talk about what this means in the big picture, for the benefit of our viewers, I, I hope you won't mind if I, um, if, if I could just ask you some yes or no questions to clarify what Mr. Santorum said yeah. about your country. He says 10% uh, of all deaths in the Netherlands are the result of euthanasia. Not true. He says half of all those people, so 5% of all deaths in the country, are people being euthanized involuntarily. Totally not true. He says elderly people in the Netherlands do not go to the hospital. <laughs> and that's not true. Of course they go. He says specifically elderly people in the Netherlands don't go to the hospital and instead leave the country because they are afraid of Dutch hospitals. Not true and insulting. The reason um, he says they are afraid of the hospital is that anybody going to the hospital with sickness, as he put it, uh, in the Netherlands will not come out of that hospital. If you go to the hospital with sickness, the hospital will kill you for budget purposes. <laughs> not true and, and funny, but insulting at the same time. Uh, last one. Um, elderly people wear specialty bracelets in the, in the Netherlands that say, please don't euthanize me. Would be cool, right? But no, yes. <laughs> I have not seen one. So, OK, I'm, I, I, I can't apologize on behalf of Rick Santorum because I can't speak for him. As an American, I'm sorry this is happening in our politics to the extent that it is insulting. I'm sorry. That said, do Dutch people see this as funny or enraging? 
sort of in between because on, on one hand, you know, we know that there's, you know, conservative people and we know there's people who oppose our, our euthanasia policy and that's fine. But the problem is if they just start lying, you know, and this is just such a distortion of, of what goes on in Holland. And I think people are actually quite upset about that. You know, when Bill O'Reilly says something, it's fine. But when this guy who may get the nomination of the Republican Party says it, I think people are really, you know, worried. And if this is the view that Americans have of us. Is it also worry that somebody running for an office as important as president could lie so blatantly and sort of yeah. get away with it? That's also part people of ask me uh, on my on my Twitter or something. They say like, well. Doesn't he, shouldn't he have his facts straight? And I say, yeah, I guess he does. But it's, you know, we're sort of used to being the punching bag of conservatives in the U.S. because we're like this crazy liberal country. I mean, like, we're like the most liberal country ever. We were the first with gay marriage, just legalized prostitution, legalized pot. I mean, if all your viewers would start a country, it would be Holland. <laughs> So we're used to everyone no, no, hating. Run for office, yeah. <laughs> you may win, uh, but then we understand people are are upset at us. But this is something different because it's just not true. Yeah. In terms of um, in terms of how this is being seen in the Netherlands, is it mostly being uh, talked about, discussed, worried over um, by people who are already interested in American politics, or is this crossed over so that people generally are talking yeah, about some, it? Uh, you, you showed a bit of like an evening news program, and you showed a, there was also sort of entertainment type shows that talk about it. It has not really caught on because the Dutch government is, as you said, is sort of backing off of making this a big issue. So there, but there is debate over whether or not oh, yeah. the Dutch government should make a big yeah, stakeover. Yeah, because I mean, the Dutch government normally does, because when Bill O'Reilly says these things or when there's like a U.S. general who said that the, the Muslim enclave of Srebrenica was, you know, overrun by Serbs because the Dutch army didn't defend it because we allow gays in the military, yeah. then, you know, everyone's so upset. You know, our the secretary of defense called your secretary of defense. So these things matter a lot to the Dutch. But this, in this case, they are not responding because it's an election year in the U.S. and they don't want to get caught up in electoral politics. That's what they say, but the opposition is saying, well, this just goes too far. You need to say something. Do you think that there is a possibility that the Dutch government will actually sort of accede to the opposition party's demands and start weighing in on this? I mean, I'm, I'm hoping, the, yeah. I think they hope this will go away a little bit uh, and the, the Dutch government doesn't want to sort of, you know, get into the politics. They're afraid this may be an issue and then, you know, you know, the conservatives will say like, oh my God, look, even the, the Dutch are against us now. Right. So they're trying to sort of stay clear of this a little bit. If it makes you feel any better about that decision, there's a lot of things that Rick Santorum says that people decide not to respond to because they assume he's going to go away. So that happens even among Americans. Yeah, but people are, are actually saying, like, this is a serious candidate, right, Eric? And I say, yeah, he is. Eric Mountain, uh, U.S. correspondent for the Dutch RTL Evening News. Thank you for helping us figure this out. And again, uh, I'm sorry that we're doing this. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Uh, Bob McDonald not visiting this show, apparently, ever. That's next.